the celebration of the Feast of Easter is not just a celebration of a moment in history, but it's the meaning of all history. And it's such a tremendous feast that we celebrated for eight straight days. It's Easter Sunday for every day this week. Such a magnificent feast. We should turn back to the beginning of creation when we, when we celebrate Easter and remember how wonderfully God created the whole world and how he created Adam and Eve, the first human beings, and shared his divine life with them. What he did was he gave them freedom because we cannot force someone to love us. If he imposed that on us, it wouldn't be real love. And so we, have to, we, we are given the freedom to choose to love God. And of course, with that comes the risk that we fail to love God, which is exactly what Adam and Eve did. And they lost for us that supernatural life. But at the same time as God created freedom for, for human beings, he also decreed that the Son of God would come and save the world. And that's what we celebrate today, after hundreds and thousands of years. The, the reality of that promise came in the person of Jesus Christ. And so we celebrate today with great joy that the Savior came into the world. Notice that when Jesus approaches his disciples and the women, he always greets them with, peace be with you. Peace be with you. And then he goes on to say, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. I am with you always. And so as we journey through life, we will journey to death just like Jesus did. But just like Jesus, if we follow him faithfully, we will rise to new and everlasting life. And that's what we celebrate in this mass today and in every mass. He gives us his body and blood as food for the journey and says, peace be with you. Do not be afraid. I am with you always. Let us stand now and offer our prayers and petitions.